All right, well, as mortgage fears spook the markets, one of my next guests sees a housing crash coming, so he and Scott kind of can do things together. He says that could actually be a great thing for investors at the end of the day. With us now is Robert Kiyosaki. He's the author of the bestseller, Why We Want to Be Rich. Also here, another point of view, is Kendra Todd, the former Apprentice winner, author of Risk and Grow Rich. All right, Robert, uh, to hell in the handbasket. Robert, can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, you. so you're saying the you. housing crash is coming, but it could be good. How so? Well, let me just say this much. You know, I think people should just quit their quiet, crying. Look, look behind me. This is Phoenix, Arizona. Back in 1987, the stock market crashed, and then there was Armageddon for the Savings and Loan Association. They got wiped out. Then the Resolution Trust Corporation stepped in, and they started giving away this real estate here at bargain basement prices. People were crying you know, begging me to buy their place, they'll pay me twenty-five thousand. So it came back then; it'll come back now. That's what I'm saying. All this right, is right. a good time. All right. Well, this it's, is what it's I'm also saying. hot there. But all right, Kendra, what do you think of that? <laughs> you know, I I have to agree with Robert Neal that I do think it's a good time. I've always taken the position that real estate is always benefiting someone. The question is who, and right now it's the buyer. Will there be some hard hit areas? Areas with economic woes and hyper growth areas where you know values could plummet up to 30, 40, 50 percent. Yes, but there are investors there with smart money waiting in the wings. All right, 30, to 40, 50 percent. Kendra, your old boss, Donald Trump, who made you the apprentice winner, thinks that if we don't get at least a one full point cut from the Federal Reserve, it's going to be that and more. Do you agree with that? You know, the well, mayor percentage. You know, I, I don't. I don't agree with my old boss there on that one. Sorry. Uh, you know, the percentage. Good thing you're not of, up for the apprentice. Go ahead. <laughs> the percentage of subprime uh, mortgages that are imperiled is is a pretty small percentage of the entire mortgage industry, and it's not enough to pull the entire housing market down. Right now, yes, there is a widespread slump, but. Things are starting to stabilize, and the price drops are kind of shallow. We're only 6.5% off of peak prices in 2006. All right, well, that's a good point. But, uh, Robert, now, you like the Phoenix area. I know I think I had remembered you like the Las Vegas area, not so much the high end, but you buy apartment houses and those kind of things. Um, so those two areas look good to you. Anywhere else? Tulsa, Oklahoma, because of oil. But I just want to re remind people, this was Armageddon, 1987. The savings and loans disappeared. It was the best time for investors. So I think these people who are crying the blues right now should grow up. This is called capitalism, not communism. So you wouldn't, be for, you wouldn't you. be for bailing people out? No. No, absolutely. Let them, let them you know, lick their wounds. You know, it's part of the process. Just grow up. All right, I remember when interest rates were 12 percent. What right. are they complaining right, about? Well, don't yell at me. I just wanted to hear your opinion. All right, guys, I want to thank you both very much. As you know, the President of the United States had told me earlier this week a political uh, bailout of any sort is not an option. What that could mean after this.